On Wednesday afternoon, September 7, 2011, a wildfire started along Highway 97 in Klickitat County in Washington State. The monastery complex fire grew to 1,000 acres by nightfall. The following afternoon, it had swarmed to nearly 4,000 acres. In its path, hundreds of homes. Hundreds of people were evacuated. They spent anxious days waiting to learn if their property was spared from the ravages of fire. When you're, all you've got is your home, and you know it's in jeopardy, but you don't know what's happened to it, anybody's going to get upset. This is the structure that was destroyed in the monastery fire. As you can see, it burned very, very hot. This home was most likely destroyed because of its location and its lack of defensible space. The fire came up the hill through the trees and ignited the structure and kept going. Um, this didn't even hold it back. These trees are within literally feet of the sides of the building. It didn't have a good turnaround. It didn't have good access for firefighters to get in here. In all, 29 homes were destroyed. Others were lucky, often because they had taken steps to create a defensible space around their property. There's probably a hundred pine trees on that six acres. And uh, we've got area right around the house is pretty well cleared. 50, 60 feet in front of the house is bare. <clears throat> on the west end of the house we've probably got 40 feet. I've tried to keep it thinned out. You know, there's no there is no sagebrush left on our place. The home that we're standing in front of was saved from a fire that came within a couple hundred yards of the structure itself. They've got green grass, they've got a garden that's beautiful, full of flowers and vegetables, they've got trees all around the home. It's still a very natural setting. So as you can see here, the monastery fire burned very hot through this, uh, through this field. Uh, it was probably dry grass, but it didn't get up into the trees because the landowner had limbed the, the ponderosa pines up high enough that it, the fire stayed on the ground. As you kind of look over, you can see that they were able to get a bulldozer through here and get a dozer line in uh, to use this as a fire break. One of the reasons they were able to do this is because the driveway was so wide, they were able to get heavy equipment in here very easily. Before wildfire hits, homeowners can take several steps to keep their homes safe from flames. Your department here three or four years ago had a program where they were going around limbing up trees around the homes. Well, I got them out there and they limbed a lot of the trees up that I hadn't got to yet around my house. To protect your home from wildfires, learn about defensible space. Wildfires are a common occurrence every year in Washington State. That's why it's important to understand how wildfire prevention efforts can keep you safe. As Washington State's largest on-call fire department, the Washington State Department of Natural Resources responds to fire and coordinates an interagency approach to defend nearly 13 million acres of forest land from wildfire. Defensible space is one way that homeowners can protect their lives and property from wildfire.